we found the tusker. This section of the tea garden is a favorite resting place for the elephants. Last night he had raided a house near this area, and a few hours before our arrival, he has looted the lunch boxes of female tea pluckers working near this place. There were several kids and youths near the tusker. A few of them were throwing stones and tree branches at the tusker, and they were even using catapults to hit the elephant. It was a constant barrage of stones and tree branches from the kids at the elephant, but he ignored them. I've never seen a wild elephant tolerating such cruel treatment. Kids were treating it as if it were a domesticated cow. The tusker knows it can chase those kids, but it won't work because they won't back down. So he ignored them. For him, saving energy for nighttime raids is more important. He said he was there to chase the elephant, which had destroyed a house in their village last night. With the stick in his hand, he said, I hit the elephant twice, and that guy in the red t-shirt hit it several times with a stick. He said elephants often visit his place, and it causes a lot of damage. A person was also killed in their village once. From then on, the village elders have discouraged them from chasing elephants. In his words, he was there to protect his family's paddy field. I know him for the last couple of years. He always tries to spend as much time as he can to stay outside the forest. Circumstances have forced the elephants to come out of the jungle, there is hardly anything left inside the forests for them. This channel shows how these elephants are trying to survive outside the forest. The elephants know there are risks involved in this, but they're taking them anyway. Elephants are using their intellect and minds to adapt to this changing environment. Looking at his struggles, I do not believe that we are doing enough to protect this magnificent species, he deserves something better than this. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts.